So welcome to the show tonight. We're going to have a ball, as I mentioned earlier, with Rob Smith from Germany. And John's getting all hyped up because I'm taking so Hi, long. Hi, John. <laughs> Just have a seat. I'm sick of it every week. Um, well, what can we say? Jim's on vacation. Jim's on vacation. No, we have a couple of people. No, we just have one person that's not normally with us going in. Um, a lot of people like what company trials or something, I don't know. So John, that's what they're working on. So that's why the band was in, in full tonight. The, and we lighting, have, the lighting looks different tonight, doesn't it? Yeah, we have lots of uh, lots of stuff tonight for our first show back from spring break. We took a whole week off of things. Yeah! Uh, yeah! We're yeah. Clap. So we have to uh, kind of get caught up on everything that happened uh, over spring break. We took a trip over spring break. It's probably the first <laughs> thing we have to talk about. Tweedle dee dee dee. We went to, we, we talked about, I, I, read, I read some of the rules on this last show mm -hmm. about uh, the key club convention that we went to. Now you're going to read all the rules that have been broken, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> there weren't any rules broken <laughs> that I knew about. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, no, we had, a, we had a pretty good time. There were some meetings that weren't real exciting, but overall we had a Mike pretty good time. And, How would you know you slept through that? Sleep through it. Yeah, I got three hours sleep a night. He says I slept through half of it. Three hours out of 24 and I slept through it? I don't understand. And, and then he wakes up. This is the one thing we are going to do. Here he goes. 5.30 in the morning. First of all, he thought it would be neat if we were the first key club down to breakfast. There were what? How many key clubs were there? 50? Uh, About. All right. Breakfast? So, no, no. no. And, and breakfast, no. 50 key clubs at the convention. And this, the first morning on Saturday, breakfast was, you know, whatever you wanted to do. But Mr. Woodward decided we would have togetherness. And we would all eat breakfast together down the... Um, hotel restaurant. So that was fine, but he decided we'd have togetherness at 7 in the morning. So, uh, oh, that's no. right. Yeah. After so in our room, the alarm went off at 5.30, and, and he we... got up and started singing. <laughs> well, we all threw we fellows. Gotta, <laughs> we got to figure out the lyrics had song, and, like, it's spelled it. Know, it's Walt Disney, or so he tells me it's Japanese. But I, still <laughs> think it's, I still think it's Disney. Um, no, so, so we were the first key club down. We got down there about 6.30 or quarter till 7, and we were all in the lobby, and there was nobody else around. We were the first key club down there, and it's one accomplishment I'm, <laughs> I'm real proud of. <laughs> no, we had a pretty good time, and we got some pictures tonight. We do? In fact, we're trying, we have a new system tonight. We're using our other color camera and whatever that thing's called back there, and we're going to show close-ups of our pictures. We have just a couple pictures of the highlights. For some reason, sunglasses seem to be the end thing. I, I don't know why, but... Our very own Eric and Andy. Now, they wear sunglasses on the show, so they wore sunglasses. Here's a picture of Eric and Andy um, wearing their sunglasses. Um, yeah, all right, all right. I believe, uh, John, John, I, I believe right there they're, they're being very attentive at a uh, meeting. Um, <laughs> I noticed a striking resemblance to the Blues Brothers there. No. No. <laughs> yeah. There were actually girls that went up to them and asked them for their autographs. <laughs> the Blues Brothers, they're here in town. But now let it be known that son. <laughs> I missed something. Did I miss something? <laughs> they asked for other things too. <laughs> they didn't get it, did they? Um, <laughs> we uh, sunglasses though weren't restricted to only Eric and Andy. Our very own sponsors, Mr. Woodward and Mrs. Pitlick, wore their sunglasses, and here's the picture of them wearing their sunglasses. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> so um, cute, back, aren't they? Very <laughs> yeah, that's the togetherness I was talking about. But I even, I got my new sunglasses for this summer right here, and I'm going to join the official crowd here Hello. with my sunglasses. It's been, of course, it's been so sunny out the last couple of days, I've got lots of chance to use them. You know, Rolly said last night at 10 o'clock it was going to be sunny and 60 degrees today. Thanks, Rolly. <laughs> and it was Boy. rainy and 30. Yeah, we used to have faith in you, Rolly. We still um, do, Johnny. It's not bad. We got no. We got another. We got another picture. Um, well, th this is just a picture of uh, the casualness. This is a picture of Hampton. <laughs> he just stand in the hall. It really doesn't mean much. I, I believe we were in front of 704 when this was taken. Oh, <laughs> 704. <laughs> um, you can see the. You, you can see by the smile on uh, our faces. Uh, who's, <laughs> who's uh? That's enough for that picture. <laughs> We don't need to talk about 704. No, but, we uh, don't, John. No, not at all. Uh, don't start. I, you know, you know. Hey, I could, I could tell real stories about the convention and Mr. Woodward. Speaking of stories about Mr. Woodward, now around the high school, you see Mr. Woodward just in his 
this dress shirt, short sleeve always, and nice wide ties, and you probably think he's just, you know, the kind of guy who's just real mellow, real low key. But not at conventions, ladies and gentlemen. After he takes the whoopee cushion out of his suitcase and he dons his Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> he becomes a party animal. <laughs> Gnarly dudes. I believe in this picture he was he was screaming because he was out of the school, he, out of school or something. You notice how that matches the wallpaper in the background? I think. Oh. I, I think it was from the same material. Uh, People couldn't believe that was our sponsor. <laughs> your sponsor's wild like that or whatever. Um, have you shown your wife these pictures yet? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, we do. <laughs> oh, what else do we have, Mike? That's that's about it for the convention. Oh, we can't spend the yeah. whole half hour, but it was it was pretty fun. It was, uh, it was neat. I, about it for the, we, no, oh, we got some we mail. Got one, what? Okay, you can read that. Out. We got some mail this week. Um, very kind of an important Impressive. letter. Now, you know, one time we got a letter from the president. Okay, you know, America, you guys figured out, okay, it wasn't legitimate. But we got a letter from... Legit. No, legit. this is a legitimate legit letter, letter from the producer of The Tonight Show. And this is a legitimate letter. A, a legit letter. Legitimate legit. letter. Anyway, we send, sent them a copy of one of our shows and asked them what, what they thought about it. And he sent uh, back this letter. And said Can you he read what he said show. about sure. it on the air, John? It says... Uh, Thank you very much for sending me the cassette of your version of our show. I enjoyed viewing it and wish you continued success. To be honest with you, though, over the years, a number of student organizations have done similar shows. But as I think back, I'm inclined to believe that yours is the most interesting. I, uh, I recognize you work with a slim or none budget and replace that money with ingenuity, and I compliment you on that as well. Best, best wishes from all of us to all of you. Sincerely, Fred DeCordova. Now, that's a legitimate letter. Yeah! So, uh, Which episode? We, I, we compiled um, a couple of them. Got we, yeah, we sent the news story and uh, just a couple of the best episodes. Um, wait, there's, a, there's an MD dance coming up. We're supposed to plug. What you want? You want to fill in on that? It's an MD dance. No, wait. Feaser wants to fill you in. Come on, Feaser. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Just for a minute. All right, there's John Feaser, ladies and yeah! gentlemen. Yeah! Who's running um, the camera? Yeah! No. <laughs> <laughs> camera. No, John, tell us real quick. <laughs> tell us. Tell us really quickly about the MD dance. Please. Okay, the MD dance is Saturday night. It's from 8 to 11. Our own Rockin' Woody's gonna <laughs> be our... I can't believe Mr. Tori read that. <laughs> I, <laughs> our own DJ. Everybody's favorite DJ. He's gonna be spinning the discs. and we're gonna spinning the discs. <laughs> <laughs> he reads them with his fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, when is it? And it's, it's Saturday, Saturday night from at 8 what time? to 11. From 8 to 11. Right. A lot of people can't stay out there, like Mike, who has to be in by 10.30. Gee, John, that wasn't amusing. <laughs> wasn't supposed to be amusing. I am no longer grounded. The world doesn't know that yet, do they? <laughs> they do now. <laughs> Gee, Andy, so, I did. <laughs> so, um, and the surgeon. Something about the surgeons playing there, I have yeah. no idea about You don't know the about surgeon. that, Mike? You know about that. No, I don't. I do. Well, I know about that. The surgeons will be playing Rock Around the Clock at the gala event. Don't, right. don't let that discourage you. Still come out. It's yeah. still no, going to be fun. We didn't know that. What? The surgeon <laughs> surgeons know didn't know that, John. Tallman told me before the show, he said that the surgeon... I'm not going to come to Okay. Jim Tallman of the surgeons will be playing at the MBA. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he did anybody else. That'll only be for five minutes. Five no. minutes out of no, three it, hours. It is pretty fun. Mr. Order has all his rig record collection from his jukeboxes or whatever, and he plays them. Are you doing your Karnak thing this year? No, they didn't want What? No. I wanted the car. I love that. They're car act, but... We're going to have the toilet seat races again. Those are great. Ten dollars for, what, we'll five, five entries? Air. Four entries. No, Mr. Egemeyer, they're not real toilet seats. You know <laughs> Cut the edit. Well, yeah, but they're not. You know, <laughs> connected to you know not the whole stool. <laughs> no, yeah, no, not the whole stool. <laughs> they don't flush, let's put it that way. Um, Why don't make them go? Well, John, thanks for uh, telling us about it. You've got a nice sure. suntan. Uh, you were down in Mexico. Yeah. Right? You got that. So thanks for telling us. Right. Thanks for telling us, and you can leave now. No, I need that. <laughs> There's no here. graceful way of putting that. Okay, um, John, I'd like to plug the basketball game. Before. <laughs> we're not going to have any time for the guests tonight. Yeah, no, this is just like, this is turning into a big commercial. <laughs> okay, anyhow, um, we're going to have a big, big, big basketball game coming up here. Yeah. It will be... WCHS today versus 
so to speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, Channel 5. And, of course, Mr. Eggmeyer is going to be there. So is that'll make it worthwhile. I don't know if he's going to play. I think he's oh, a water boy or something. <laughs> water boy. <laughs> Just kidding, Mr. Eggmeyer. Don't stop it yet. And it's going to be the 20, 29th of April. Uh, yes, yeah, this we, will we'll be, be televised. This it will won't be live, but we tape it. Uh, this will be on the 29th of April at 7 who's, o'clock. Who's playing for our team? We, know, we have quite a few people. Yeah, we got a lot of people. Eric and Andy, Eric and Andy. And, and Mr. Woodward's going to play, aren't you, Mr. Wrong. Woodward? <laughs> Wrong. If it was golf, he could play. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we'll, we'll give you more information about that as, um, as the information comes in. Um, <laughs> it's toe board time, ladies and gentlemen. We have some toe board music. Down What music? They get more excited everywhere. I love that music Jim plays. <laughs> yeah. um, no, tonight we have a special donation. Mrs. Cook from um, the administration office. Our link to the, the higher world here at WCHS. Um, no, she's, she's always real nice. So she always has um, suckers on her desk. When we come by, she gives us one. But she brought over tonight a whole bag of lollipops. Whoa. Now, wasn't that special? Yeah. So, um, it's awesome. Also, no, it's also kind. Of, no, this stuff will be distributed. It's also kind of a big night because you will notice this is the last, and we're gonna. What, what's the date? Um, four tenth, yeah. right? Okay, it's four ten. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Ch? Yeah. <laughs> and just call them lollipops. Oh, yeah. So how many did you take? Five, six? So, Mrs. Cook, I know you couldn't be here. You, um, thank you, Mrs. Cook. Thank you, small lady. Um, that's our lab. We're going to have to get a new new place on the board. In fact, I think we have another donation. That's what we're going to do about it. Mrs. Cook, thanks for the music. Great show. Great, great show, show. Great show. Anyway, great show. It's, it's quarter after uh, quarter after eight already, so we ought to get to... Um, Seven. Eight. Pardon me, I'm... Oh, I'm we ought to so get to our guest tonight. Who? Excuse me. We ought to get to our guest tonight, who is Rob Smith, and he um, he was with us a couple months ago to talk about stats, right? But Rob recently took kind of an exciting trip, and he's going to come out and talk about that tonight. He went to Germany with a couple members of the German club. So here is Robert Smith. Come on yeah. down, Rob. Rob. Yeah. All right. How you doing, Rob? Oh, pretty fine. They didn't give you any uh, music. Did you feel bad? No, I. <laughs> They're not I too up to that anyway. tonight. Well, tell us a little bit about this trip. When did you go? Well, I went from March 20th to April 3rd. Okay, so that was about what? Ten two days. Two weeks. Was it? Okay. Two weeks. So you you had to miss some school for that, right? Yeah, like I missed first it week about a week and a half. A whole week and a half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now, I was out of school for three weeks. No. Why did you go on the trip? Was it just to get out of school or no? Well, no, really. that was one of the main reasons, but... No, really. Why did you choose to go on the trip? Well, because uh, it, helped me, it helped me learn about different culture, since it is a very different, yeah. very, very different culture. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, so that's why you chose... Was and it really it's expensive? Supposed to help. It, was, it was quite expensive. It was about $1,200. Okay. Give did or the, take. Did the sc- school or the club or anything pay any part of that or was it completely well, um, out of your pocket? The, cl- the club paid for candy that you sold. You got $11 per box of gummy bears you sold. So you did get a little bit credited to yeah. it maybe. Not, didn't pay for it. About under $100. Under $100. Well, yeah. I got a got $100 tacked off my $1,200. Um, so did you have a really good time when you went? Yeah. What uh, what cities did you visit? Uh, kind of the big one? like. Uh, Ingolstadt, which is about the size of Peoria, Munich, uh, Heidelberg, yeah, most people probably heard of Munich. Ulm, 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 and we traveled also. Berlin? No, want to go there, but that's in East Germany. That's where the commies are, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'd, we don't, we don't want to get shot by any of those Russians, so we stayed in West Germany. <laughs> no, no, Rob. And uh, we also traveled <laughs> into a little bit uh, part of Austria and went to Innsbruck. Oh, so you yeah, did get to Austria fun. a little bit? Yeah. So you got to see another country. Was there any difference between the two countries? No, not really. It was it's like, because like, they're like, you know, we've state. had we've had a couple different, ex- the one exchange student last year we had on the show was from Germany, and then the one this year um, is from Belgium. 
and you know both in, in Europe and you know say how it's just like going from one state to another it is not you know so small and all that mm -hmm. um, well what kind of stuff did you do you said you went to these different cities did you uh, stay in each one like a couple days uh, we stayed in Munich for two days and the rest for one day so, so you did do quite a lot of um, traveling. traveling around. Did it get kind of tiring traveling around? Or? Yeah, by the end I was pretty tired. What kind of stuff did you do? Did you just basically sightsee? Or, yeah, um, we mostly sightsee. In Munich, we went to Munich night. We're in Munich and it's nighttime. And we go to a circus. Talk <laughs> about exciting. A circus, huh? And it was only one ringer and that was pretty bad. But, but Munich was a pretty big town. But. So and we to went to a lot of museums and churches and stuff. Oh, I mean, so your girls hang out at the circus in oh, Germany. <laughs> no, not quite. But we did go to quite a few discos and. Yeah, those are really big over there, aren't they? Yeah, that's what quite the foreign exchange students have said. Was that fun? Yeah. Tell me about. You told me this was last night about. Uh, they were playing a bunch of German music, right? No, we don't hear that. We don't. Oh, the fun. German music. Yeah, well, and, and you said how you know you guys were getting tired of it, and then you. Told them to play uh, Born in the USA, USA and well, the Americans, Americans went crazy, crazy or something. Yeah, because they hadn't heard any American songs. <laughs> Germans take American songs like I Just Called to Say I Love You and <laughs> a few more songs like that and uh, translate it into German words, and it's usually a uh, opposite sex that sings it. And yeah, it you said it's a, it's a female that sings. Yeah. I Just Called to Say I Love It's pretty weird. Yeah. Was she blind? Or? <laughs> I, don't I, 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 I won't do my Stevie Wonder. I just won't do it. That's good. <laughs> I'm sure he's not watching. No. Um. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. You didn't even notice. Um, no, that was bad. Well, what kind of stuff did you uh, do during the day when you didn't? You probably went to the discos at night and stuff, yeah. right? Uh, day we usually went to churches. We climbed the tallest church steeple in the world. Climbed it. It was like 700 mm -hmm. steps. Why? In a because circle. it's there. That's why. <laughs> and it was not very exciting. Really wasn't. Mm -mm. How many people went from our high school? You our high school, just, three people. Just three people, right? Yeah. Dean Fitzpatrick, Patty Folkerts, and I, and also our German teacher, Mrs. Svoboda. Mrs. Svoboda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but didn't you say the like you kind of you went with a larger group of yeah. American like a whole bunch of different schools kind of yeah. got together it's, and went, um, how did that work out? It was I S E. Uh, what's it called? Intercultural Student Experiences. And they took a whole bunch of people, mainly from Minnesota. There was everybody from Minnesota and us three from Illinois. And there was about 50 kids. And now, did you get adults. mocked or anything being the only ones from Illinois? Or oh, no, we, got, we, we got... We uh, got... We were told that we had accents, but they were the ones with the accent. I know. It's always I know. <laughs> you never have an accent. It's always the other person with the accent. How long did How long did it take to get there? Uh, did you fly uh, out of Chicago? Probably. Yeah, we flew from did Chicago. Did you drive to Chicago? Yeah. And what did you stop in like New York, or did you go straight? No, through? we went straight through to Frankfurt. Now, how long is that? How long a flight is that? It's about eight hours. <laughs> does it get Does that get tiring? I mean, did you just sleep? Well, yeah. oh, I I slept all the way over there for about two hours, and they have movies on the plane. But were they so, good movies, or were they like... Oh, uh, first one was Woman in Red, and... <laughs> they don't show one, those kind of movies on airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one was The Natural, so they were not half bad movies. And they have uh, little radios that you can listen to. Little radios? Yeah. Way back, it was pretty much a party. There was a party on the plane? Well, sort of. What do you mean? I don't remember. Kool-Aid, Don, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. yeah. Well, that's another thing. I'm not going to, you know... The drink, there is no drinking age over there, is no. there? No. Well, there oh, is. Wow. You can't drink in public if you're younger than 16. You're not supposed to drink in public, but they don't pay any attention to it, so everybody does. Okay. So that must have been a little different, being um, mm -hmm. able to do that. I'm sure you didn't take any. We want to <laughs> mention that. Um, what are some of the really neat things you saw? I mean, being in, you're in German class, right? Mm -hmm. Well, second year. Yeah. So you probably learned a lot about Germany, right? Yeah. What did did you see some did you see a lot of the stuff that you had learned about? Yeah. Is that kind of neat? Yeah. Like, like what was some of the stuff you had you know heard about that you actually got to see? Um. Nothing on. Right now that I can think about, but I could probably think about it later. But there was it was just mainly how they well we learned. Yeah, you want to call they, us next week? Uh, <laughs> we'll we'll bite you well, through. You can finish they, um, the interview. Our Jimmy teacher told us that they eat with their left hand, their fork, and they cut with their right hand. And they always keep them 
They never set the fork and knife down. Unless they you mean never? Drink. Never. I mean, they just... Yeah, they're like, hi, how you doing? Time. Time. <laughs> yeah, we did that at the Hilton too, but uh, <laughs> the our knives and forks left our hands, and I don't know where they went. Um, <laughs> long story. Um, <laughs> did you get that call today, by the way? <laughs> Forget it. No. Um, anyway, so we we're talking about eating. Oh, what about the food? That's something exchange students say they don't like the food here; it's too greasy. Was it? Oh, was it? Was it bad over there? I mean. Was some of like the food was good, all potatoes but, and good but stuff. I had some pretty thick stuff. There was this bread dumplings. Uh, talk <laughs> about the worst thing you've almost ever eaten. That was terrible. And they had some other, like, sauerkraut. Oh, that was sick. Some people like it, but I think it's terrible. And for breakfast, hard rolls and warm orange juice. Every warm morning. orange juice. Yeah. And hard, we had they hard rolls, had. too. <laughs> I think we had about the same kind of things in here. We were just at a key card convention. What? Yeah, I guess I guess it was. Yeah, but I don't think it was real orange juice. It was though. terrible. Not freshly squeezed. <laughs> do they do they have? I'm sure it's not fresh. Is it? I mean, do they? Oh, they I don't can't know. Grow oranges over there, can they? What kind of climate is it? Isn't it pretty much like ours? Um, it's more like Minnesota. But was it cold while you were over there? It snowed the first <laughs> couple like days. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll see the geographical breakdown of the continental U.S. Uh, <laughs> But Roley's not here tonight. He can't tell <laughs> what the weather's like. And if he was, he'd probably be wrong. So, um, so it was colder while you were over there. Yeah, it snowed the first couple of days. Did it? Yeah, but well, it snowed just snowed here too. But it just snowed and melted off by the way. So oh, so it really is pretty much the same as uh, yeah. over here. Did you get to meet any uh, German like students or anything about your age? Yeah, we stayed with a family for one week, and. What do you mean? I thought you said you kept traveling. Well, we traveled for one week and we stayed with a family for another so week. So you stayed in one place a whole week? Yeah, that was Okay, so you stuff. stayed with a family? Yeah. I mean, did it like they break um, you into groups or something to stay with families? I mean, the whole, I mean... No, 50 kids stayed at one house. <laughs> <laughs> no, every, every kid went to a separate house. Every one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how, was that pretty neat? I mean, did they have kids in the family you're yeah. staying with? Yeah. Tell us about them. Well... My guy liked, um, my guy, <laughs> my guy liked, uh, well, he, he liked classical music and jazz. He liked what? Classical music and jazz. I went to a symphony orchestra for the first time, and I can last, honestly right? say, I can honestly say I almost fell asleep three times. It was almost that exciting, but. Well, uh, did they have any other kids? Did yeah. Did they have a girl that you call your girl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. They, he had a brother. And he was in. Um, how old was this um, kid? Twenty-one. So he's a little older. Was there, who, how old was the other one? Uh, three days older than me. So he was oh. sixteen. Oh, okay. So there was somebody your age. Yeah. Three days older. Than you. That's pretty darn close, isn't it? They're about right. as close you as you can get. Just about about three days as yeah. close as you can uh, can possibly get. You brought some um, some stuff to show us. Why yeah. Show it to us. Well, this right here is one of the neatest. Well, I can't really say neatest places we went to. It was the most interesting. But you did. Yeah. This, uh, what, this book is on Dachau, which is a concentration camp in um, Germany. And uh, there they showed many pictures of uh, Jews and Christians that betrayed Hitler. And they had many pictures, like if you want to put this in the camera. This is a few of the pictures of the experiments that they had Jews go through. So there are German scientists. So this is kind of a history type yeah. book then. It tells about German history. Yeah. Okay. Did you buy these while you were there? Yeah. How, how's the money thing? I you know Certainly we've heard you know, with the value of the dollar being uh, so high as it is right now that it's real cheap to travel in other countries because you know, the yeah. dollar's worth so much. Do you find that to be true? Could you buy stuff over there? Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot Things cheaper than you could here? Was that kind of, I mean, that, that, that was kind of yeah. fun. Huh? But the dollar was dropping while we were there. It fell yeah, it did like just recently. 3.2 to about a little under... So I bet you really had a fit when that happened, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> but <laughs> things were really cheap over there because of the dollar was so strong. Well, that's pretty, what else did you bring for us? Well, I brought you, you some German chocolate. This is very good now, chocolate. Is this, now, this is like, is this like a tote don donation? No. Oh, okay. This, this just, is just... This just uh, yeah, you can't eat it. You can't eat this? No. Oh, then you can get your name on the tote board. <laughs> no, but this is very good chocolate. Here, have some. Oh. <laughs> Sit down, Anfield. Here. How much does this cost in American money? 
Um, this costs a dollar. We'll give it to you later. A dollar thirty thirty nine in the mark, which right now would probably be a little under fifty cents. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, for a big candy bar like this, it is. Mm -hmm. Um, you want? Do you have any other? Do you have some other books, or do you want to show some of those pictures real quick? Well, most of the cities, larger cities, not counting the villages in Germany, usually have had a castle before unless it was destroyed in one of the world wars. And this is what the old part of the city in Ingolstadt looked like. Uh, as you can see, it had a castle wall around it, and many of the large, well, you probably can't see it, but it had castles in here. And it had most of the... It looked like a travel log or something. <laughs> most of the large cities did have... Uh, uh, walls Maybe we should have put those on the city. plate over there. <laughs> and, uh, which... Which, uh... <laughs> yeah, we're just relaxing. Uh, it's just like yeah. our, our living room I here. I don't think I yeah. want to go to Germany now. Rob's pointing so many questions that I, I wanted to know about, and it's yeah. fascinating, really. Uh, no, you want me to do you really now think, so though, you can do your thing? No. Do you really think that uh, it was a real worthwhile experience? I mean, yeah. not besides the having fun, but did you really learn a lot about it? I mean, I would I didn't assume learn too much did. of the language. Except for a few did you words, get to use which any, I, did you get to use any of your German? Not too much. Uh, once I said good, uh, I said hello when I meant goodbye, and I. <laughs> no, wait, don't, don't don't you learn that in the first day of German class? <laughs> yeah, but I just. Well, what else do you say about that? I mean, she wasn't little, there. Oh, she wasn't there when that happened. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a it's a good thing she really would have been upset if you would uh, use the wrong terminology. Are, is um, German club going to go uh, again sometime? Well, it's for every year, and it's not really the German club. The German club had didn't have anything to do with it. It was the group. It was so the, any even if you weren't in German club, you could have gone. Or uh, you you didn't have to be in German club. You have to speak German. You have to be in German class yes. or have been in German yes. class. Are they going to go again next year? Um, who, it depends on if anybody wants to go. That's taking German. So if you're taking German and you want to go to Germany, you can do it. Okay, you can do it, <laughs> Rob. I want to thank you uh, for coming out and telling about this. And, uh, it's really fun. It was fun. No, it was. Anyway, I've been getting a cue from Mr. Hatfield, who once again wants to steal the show, but Mike Hatfield only has about three or four minutes, so uh, I'm not telling him to get carried away. This is a new segment that is going to be called Ask Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present Mr. Mike Hatfield. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hello, and welcome to Ask Mike. Tonight, we've got a, a letter, and it, it really just... Hello, it I'm Mike Hatfield, that, that, and I would like that to invite I get letters, all of you. Know? And here it is. Dear Mike, recently I've had felt run down, tired, and feel that I can't put forth a 100% effort towards my job. I think it has something to do with what I'm eating for breakfast. Do you have any ideas? What should I eat? Signed, Scrambled Eggy. Well, Scrambled Eggy, first of all, let's look at what you eat for breakfast. Do you know that, first of all, we've got to clean out the cabinets. Keynes Burgers won't do the job. It doesn't have everything you need for strong, healthy bones. Cream of wheat. They make paste out of this stuff. Don't eat this. No, it's, it's, it's for luck is what it is, okay? What you need is Woody cereal. Oh. The breakfast of AV directors. <laughs> Do you know Woody cereal contains more iron than recommended by the FDA? 2.5 ounces. What a bargain. You know this stuff's only 99 cents? And they got little holes in the middle, so if you get one stuck in your throat, you can't choke on it. I mean, what? They don't have any cereals like this anymore. So I tell you what, Agamar, or I, 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 I really think it's Mr. Agamar, because, I mean, it says scrambled eggy. Who else would it be, you know? Try this sometime. It's a great cereal, and it's got real low sugar. Okay, so if your mom won't have you, let, you know, let you have much sugar, just try a Woody cereal. It'll make your day great. And now, now here we go. A couple of questions from the audience, and I will try to answer them for you. A Andy. Oh. Uh, pardon me. Could you repeat that again? Where do puppies come from? Do puppies come from? Okay, well, I can't, I no, no, this can be a nice, good definition. Andy, have you heard of the puppy stork? It's, no, Mike, tell me about it, please. 
Okay, well, um, do we have any pictures of the puppy stork back there? No? No, no pictures of the puppy stork. Here we are, it's the puppy stork. Looky here. <laughs> Just tie a little paper bag on its mouth and you get a puppy stork. Any more questions that I can answer halfway intelligent here? That is a good question. I'll tell you why the Easter Bunny hides his eggs. Long ago, uh, when the Easter Bunny was a little bunny, a little uh, hoblin, <laughs> Uh, he was abused. He was an abused bunny, and he got mad, and, I mean, he wanted to pay us all back, so what's he do? He hides her eggs, and that's not a good definition. Let me go home and research this for you, and I can get back to you on that. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned next week, because we're going to probably have Ask Mike again. Wait. What's the phone number for K Club International in Indianapolis? 317 455, is it? 8517? Is that right? I think that side's about halfway close. <laughs> Back to John. Thanks once again, Mike. That was enlightening. No, I like the Woody cereal. Like the Woody cereal. Yeah. No, no I like the Woody cereal. I, I don't know if you, you know, maybe you should have shown the Woody cereal, not drawn it out. Is, is your horse uh, roped up out front? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Um, no, we have to uh, tie up tonight's show. We have some news. 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 Next week. Next week. Next week news. Mike Hatfield's going to guest host next week. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know America's excited yeah. for this. No, Mike is... Um, you going to Bermuda again? No, I, I'm going to be... No. Um... Mike is going to guest host next week. No, Mike promises to have a good show. I'm not sure who his guests are yet. Eric and Andy are going to be on next week with him. Um, there is there is the one guest who's really a pretty big name, I think, that's going to be joining Mike for a few minutes, um, Dr. Carl Sagan, I believe, right, Mike? Yeah. Yes, he will be here for a few minutes. Yes, he will be doing billions of things. So I don't, he's, he's flying in, and he will be here for a few minutes. So that's Mike Hatfield next week and rob thanks again for coming mm -hmm. and if uh you want to call us up next week with any more information we'll be happy to take the call okay anyway before we go tonight i want to show one more picture of the mr woodward and his uh show one the band can start good evening everyone and be here next week with mike start <laughs>